All right, guys, so here we go. Distance learning, doing computer animation work. Uh, lucky for you, we're not really doing anything too different than what we did in school anyways, but we're still doing it from a distance, less able to help, uh, but we're gonna get through this. Um, I will, uh, we're gonna have us starting with a very basic kind of lesson here, uh, something familiar to start out with in an kind of not so familiar uh, software. So uh, I'm gonna go back to the creator that I was using here called FlipAnim or FlipAnim.com. And so what you'll wanna do is go to FlipAnim.com and in this corner here, I'm gonna go ahead and log out really quick. Um, you'll see you're going to have to register, so you click register, come up with a name, a login name, password, email, blah, blah, blah. Be a robot or be not a robot. Mm, well, if you're a robot, you're not allowed in here, so sorry if that is applied to you. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in myself. Uh, first initial, last name is a good kind of login name to go with. And I am for sure not a robot. Can't say the same for all you guys. Anyways, next when we're in here um, on the actual creator. Now you can use this creator. You can create these little flipbook animations in here without creating an account. But when you create account, you can click on your little icon here and you can go to all your animations and see them all in here in the end. So even if we have issues with like saving them and getting your Google Drive and whatnot, they'll be saved in here. But, and then you can click on this draw icon here to go back to drawing animations. But anyways, like I said, um, we will be planning to save these in our Google Drives and upload them to Google Classroom, which we can do. So, um, I don't know if you saw that click that I just did. I may have done it really fast. I'm in the beta editor. So choose beta editor rather than the, um, yeah. So if you just click on this draw animation icon, you'll get to the regular editor. And it's all the same stuff kind of, there's drawing tools in here, and then, but the thing you don't have is layers. So use the beta editor, it is beta, or beta, I can't, I can't remember, I'm trying to make a joke. But anyways, uh, what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna start with, like I was saying, just a quick stick figure animation of him waving hello. Just send me a wave hello is what I'm looking for here. So, um, gonna start with a dark color. If you wanna choose any color, you can click on the paint palette here. Dark color, doesn't matter, it's fine. The uh, width of my pencil is in these dots. The color of it is here. I'm gonna go ahead and make a circle. Oh, not so good a circle. Control Z will undo, just like we were in Adobe on the computers at school. Um, Control Z undoes. So I am not gonna be too stressed about you getting perfect circles here. Let's just draw a little stick figure to go, um, you will notice, ooh, don't really like that hip bone I did there. Gonna go ahead and just do, ooh, a couple legs. Keep them pretty simple, maybe a little bend for the knee, and then we'll do a couple arms, a little shoulder, and then a straight arm, and then a shoulder, and a straight arm. Okay, cool. Uh, you will notice, like I was saying, you have layers in here too, which is cool. We'll utilize those later on. Um, and then there's galleries. You can see other people's animations and search for animations and all that stuff as we go. But anyway, so let's animate this guy as I scroll down here to get to uh, my brush options. Oh yeah, next, now that we have our stick figure, we're gonna click on this button here. That's to create a new frame. This is to add a frame, a blank frame. This is to subtract the frame that you just made, and this is to create a duplicate, or a duplicate frame right here. So on this duplicate frame, we're gonna take our eraser. I am going to erase half of my stick figure's arm, and then take my pencil again and redraw it at a slightly different angle. And then I'm going to copy that frame again. Go to my eraser, erase all the way up to his elbow again, and then draw that arm in going pretty flat. All right, copy frame again, erase. Gonna erase again down to the elbow and then draw this arm angling upwards. Okay, and then you can see where your previous frames are. There is an onion skin feature that works with this flipbook style animation uh, software we're using here on this website. So uh, another new frame now at the end and this time I'm going to erase the entire arm all the way to the shoulder 
and then I'm going to draw a little bit more of a upward angle for the uh, forearm part and then the arm coming up. Another frame, erase that whole thing again, right? So all the way to where his shoulder was. And this time I'm gonna make kind of like his forearm come out or the uh, top part of his arm come out like straight and then his forearm is going up. One more copy, gonna do an eraser of just the forearm now. So now we're starting the wave. He's raised his arm, ready to start the wave. So we're gonna go outwards first, add a new frame. Um, now we could actually also copy these other frames. So I can go here and I can hit duplicate of this frame and then move it to the end. Okay, so that little part is kind of a nice little feature that we can do. So I'm gonna then go back to my sixth frame here. I'm gonna duplicate this one again and put it to the end um, as now my 11th frame. And you can scroll by grabbing this blue bar um, or you can do the two mouse, two finger trackpad back and forth. Um, you can go through your frames one at a time with this, um, the back arrow and the forward arrow. So you can see, you can click through one frame at a time to see what you've got. You can hit this play button to play your animation. All right, so he's got kind of like one wave, but I'm gonna make the hand go back and forth a couple more times. Um, let's hit this pause button here and Go to the last frame I had. Yeah, it was the 10th. So I wanna make this hand kind of wave a couple more times. So I'm just gonna go back and forth. So duplicate this previous frame and then try to scoot it to the end, All right? And then I'm gonna take this frame and I'm gonna duplicate it again. Scroll, put it at the end. So now if I play it, his arm should go up and he does a couple of waves, All right? Um, so you could add in more frames if you want. Um, you could stop right here and just send me a nice digital wave. Uh, I added in my example, I think you saw that he kind of like bends a knee and then jumps off the top of the page like a superhero. Uh, you could do something like that with your stick figure if you want. Um, otherwise, this is good for today. Just kind of getting in here, figuring out where some of these buttons and stuff are. Um, and so, uh, yeah. Now we want to save it. So you see your little save icon over here, like in like a little old school floppy disk, now that you guys know what those are. Uh, we want to give this a title. We'll give it uh we'll give it hi or hello or wave. We'll call it wavy. Um, make this animation public. If you, if you make it public, you can turn it into your little icon. Uh, you don't have to make it public, but it will only let you make it your icon if it's a public animation and you can't change that later. FYI, figure that out. Um, but so I don't, you don't have to make it public. I mean, I don't know if you're going to care if anybody sees this anyways. So upload, we're going to upload it. And then I'm going to say, I'm not a robot one more time just so that they're sure, and then say continue. Let this load and finish the edit or the uploading and done. Okay, so then it takes me to a new window here where I can preview um, and see what my animation looks like, my flipping animation looks like um, to everyone else. So if we're saving this in our drive, Click this GIF, GIF link here uh, right next to your animation. You, If you're on your Chromebook, you're gonna wanna hold the Alt key and click. Uh, if you're on a Mac, you can right click and you want to go down to save this image to your Google Drive. And so again, if you're signed in your Google Drive already, um, make sure that it goes into your correct folder. So you wanna be in your animation folder in your drive. So make sure you're in your animation folder and then you can go ahead and upload to Google Classroom. Gonna add a new section for these flip anims uh, right up here uh, at the top of our classwork tab in our Google Classroom page, okay? So hope you guys have luck and have fun and get creative with your own little stick figure waves. Really just wanna see your wave from you, digital waves. All right, bye guys.